Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Fulton Street Beats. Um, this has been the first real video in a while. I have to apologize. I've been very busy, and yesterday I was supposed to be on a live stream with the ball shredder, but I became pretty sick, and I was in bed all day yesterday. So today's another day. So as you can see, guys, we have the uh, Megadeth Flying V sitting here. And uh, I've been waiting a long time for this guitar. I wanted this custom built in a fashion that I, well, kind of wanted for myself. And if you do a custom guitar, you want to kind of want to set up your way. And that's what I did with this guitar. And this is a guitar from Kathy Zong. Now, I have to be honest with my viewers. And I need everybody to maybe step back and get a little perspective on this particular guitar. Because um, sometimes bad things can happen. And I guess that's the whole point of doing these videos, to show the good and the bad. And even with sometimes your favorite builders and sellers, bad things can happen. And you guys know that my success rate here on this channel, as far as picking out good good guitars and getting good guitars shipped here, has been, well, 98 to 99%. Good. And um, Kathy, as you guys know, is my favorite builder. She's my favorite builder. Um... There's no doubt about it. When she gets it right, she gets it right. This particular guitar, I am sad to say, is not right. And um, there's a lot of variables that were involved. It seems that this particular guitar was jinxed from the get-go. Um, Kathy did a good job at taking down what I needed. However, certain things that come out of her factory are they're not set up for it so she had to have another factory do it and she's not at that factory and i knew this going into this um however i didn't understand that if she wasn't really overseeing that guitar that um it's really hard for her to to keep on top of it and it was just a nightmare when the guitar was finally finished um it was logistics nightmare. It it the eighteenth of last month, it uh, went into customs, and now we are a month later. Um, we are the eighteenth of today, as is of this video, and this just came. Was it yesterday, day before? So a month later, the guitar. This is it took to ship it, not to ship it in shipping. It passed through China twice. Um, it was opened in China and inspected twice. It made it to uh, USPS here in the U.S., went into customs on the 18th, landed here in the U.S., and there it stalled. Everybody thought it was confiscated, um, including me. It wasn't, and um, for some reason, the tracking just died I went to my local postmaster and asked them to do a track and trace on it. They did, and they found that, that the guitar actually got shipped to Tokyo, Japan. And um, nobody knew what was going on. We gave up on the guitar. We just gave up on it. We were despite deciding whether we were going to do a refund on the guitar or what have you. Perhaps another guitar or another couple guitars, off-the-shelf guitars, something like this. Because this was very, very pricey. How pricey was it? It was $501.38, if I remember correctly. And um, we're going to get to that in a second. However, I came home the other day, unexpected, big box on the porch, and undo it. And here is the V. And I got to tell you, it looks pretty good on camera. But when I pulled back the, the the wrapping that was on the guitar, and it came shipped perfectly. The the, the box was pristine. Um, so nothing bad. It had been opened, but it had been taped back up. But they really just um, took a glance at it, sealed, sealed it back up, and um, shipped it. So what I'm going to talk about first is the good points of the guitar. And then we're going to move to the bad ones. And I, it, overwhelmingly bad unfortunately um but with some weird conundrums in between the frets are amazing on the guitar the fret job is amazing the fret board is amazing but we there's a little bit of a problem there kind of a kind of a big issue the the fret board originally was supposed to have been ebony 
and it didn't turn out ebony. It ended up this color, but it was already in the build process, so I decided to let it roll when I got the pictures of the guitar. Another thing that was a problem is they, they put the battery box in the wrong location, and they, they, uh, they fixed it. But when they fixed it, and you guys can, I'm going to put pictures, um, you can see where the old battery box is. There is orange peel all over the paint. Um, there's fisheye. There's orange peel. Um, right location for the battery box where I wanted it, but, I mean, it's just a bad bit. You can feel it where the old one was. They never smoothed it out. And this was a very easily fixable thing. that You just fill it in, make sure it's level, and paint it. Never would have seen it. But that didn't happen correctly. The edges where this is met, this is all, you can feel it, it's rough. Um, the guitar was never buffed, it was never wet sanded, buffed, nothing. And I can feel the edges where the paint meet, it's all fisheye. And it looks like a four-year-old taped it off where the blue meets the black. There's actually some chips out of it, um, of the paint itself. Um, and I believe that's down, like, let, me, let me get my glasses on here. Um, where was that? Um, it's it's full of blemishes. It's full of chips. That it doesn't meet right. It's wavy. Um, the ends of the guitar are absolutely horrid. I mean, bad, bad, bad. I can see actually the wood underneath where it's not even black right here. And it's not that it's banged up or dinged up. It's just it's painted really, really bad. You can tell it was painted and hung and dripped and it just wasn't right. Another bad quality about this guitar, it's got a fat neck, um, it's supposed to be a Slim D, and it's a fat neck. It does have the heel on it, and the real oxymoron <laughs> or conundrum of this guitar is the pickups in it. They're active, and they actually do sound really good. Um, however, we're going to play this thing. This is out of the box, so I'm going to plug this in. I'm going to play this for you for the first time I... I, I strummed it and heard the pickups, did a couple little licks on it, and it sounds really good. But however, I'm going to throw in a backing track, and I'm going to noodle to this. So I, I'm not out to do any professional recording. You're going to get some room sound out of this. But I want to see, well, for one, if it stays in tune. The action seems decent on it. I'm not going to lie. The action seems decent on the guitar. The pickups do sound good. But when I was tuning this guitar up, you'll notice that we don't even have a high E on it. And I'm not putting one on it. We're going to play it just like this because that's what I do. Out of the box, it is what it is. I went to tune this guitar up, and they didn't have enough lines on the tuner, and literally the string just went boop and came off. And there's not enough wine for me to put it back on. So this guitar, when you if you see this in real life, you would go, oh, oh my God, if you saw this. And it's I don't like seeing it saying this, but I have to. And I have to tell you guys the truth when I get bad guitars and it's unfortunate that this one came from Kathy. Now I will tell you that Kathy was not happy when I sent her pictures of this guitar because she received the same pictures that I did and I approved those pictures, but in the pictures, um, as, um, as, um, Elvis pretzel will know if he's watching, sent him the pictures too. The pictures of this guitar are quite different from what this is. In other words, they took them at angles where, um, the guitar looked a lot better than what it does in in real life. So she didn't see this guitar before it got shipped, unfortunately. It didn't have her usual stamp of approval, and it could be because it came from a factory that she um, had to kind of sub out to because hers doesn't do these. And I was aware of this, so I want you to, to know that. Um, I went into this knowing that. However, the guitar is simply unacceptable. If you saw this hanging on a wall, you wouldn't give 50 bucks for it because the finish is, is just that bad. Might look good on your screen, but it is that bad. And I know a lot of people will send it to me if you don't want it. You don't understand. My little girls, my daughters, took a look at it and they actually laughed and said, Wow, Dad, that's horrible. And it really is. Um I wish I could say something good other than, well, it sounds good. And it's got nice a nice fret job. But that, honestly, is where it's at. Um, there's things that were supposed to be done to this guitar that, that, that simply aren't done um, that I requested. But we'll go into that on another time. But uh, it did arrive. Here it is. I am getting a refund. Um, I am getting a refund for this guitar. 
and even the refund process on this particular one was a nightmare. I have a problem. I don't I don't pay. I want you guys to know I don't pay through PayPal because I have a big issue with PayPal. PayPal was into me for over six thousand dollars one time. I refuse to use them. And anytime something goes wrong with PayPal, it seems like it always costs me money. So I don't use PayPal. So I went, I ordered this guitar through an AliExpress link. And that didn't go easy either. So the guitar itself is jinxed. It really is. But it sounds decent, I guess. We're going to play it and see if it stays in tune. And we're playing it with five strings. But this is the realism of it. And before everybody goes, see... I told you, well, let me tell you, everything can't be good in life. And multiple high-end guitars have come through here that were crap. This is the first one from Kathy that has been unacceptable. And it is unacceptable. And I hope you guys can appreciate my honesty in this. But I hope you can appreciate also that Kathy does the right thing. And although you might have to jump through a few hoops, well, we're adults and sometimes things happen if we want some resolve. That's what we have to do. Um, and I did have to do that. I had to jump through a few hoops, but it's done. I have got a refund for this guitar. And um, I offered to send the guitar back. It's not going back. Now, the problem with this guitar was originally is is when I ordered this guitar, I really expected it, expected it to come and be nice, like they all are. I got a good taste of what she does, and it's all been good, her off-the-shelf guitars. Everything's been really, really good that I've received from her. But once again, those are the guitars that she's had her hands into. She's she's laid eyes on. Um, she has has taken pictures of them herself and sent them to me. This is not one of those guitars that has really passed in front of her eyes. And the people who built this guitar, let's just say they are no longer building these guitars for her. So um, there is that. She was very upset and she was very embarrassed and a lot of apologies and very sincere. So that goes a long ways. I've never had that from anybody else before. And um, it's scary, though. I get it, guys. It's scary because there's a communication barrier. There's always a communication barrier when you're dealing with somebody from another country. And you got to figure out ways of overcoming, though. But if we want this style guitar, we have to, well, be at the mercy of, of really what it is, the facts of what it is. So if you get a bad one, Instead of getting angry or getting mad, don't get me wrong. I mean, my blood pressure went up a little bit. I'm not going to lie. Um, I think that's just human nature. But it quickly went back down when the problem was getting resolved. And it wasn't easy to get this problem resolved. Um, the refund didn't go easy either. It was just, it was kind of a, just a, the whole guitar was jinxed. And not that she wasn't trying. She she was. She made, and it did happen. Um, but it was stressful. So, I still continue to recommend Kathy. I think she's a great builder. She needs to see these guitars. And when I say builder, she's not building every single guitar. So I want you guys to know that. She's not. She, she, sometimes she's got her hands in there. She oversees these building processes. But she can't be at every facility at once either. So she has people that work for her and, and do things. And you know how it is with any employee. If they're fucking up, then it makes well, the person that uh, is the owner look bad and that's that's the uh, that's the case of what happened here so i hope that you guys can understand that i can see that i hope you can see that and um yeah it still leaves a little bit of bad taste in the mouth i get it i totally understand it but this is the real side and was the issue taken care of yes it was taken care of um was i worried that it wasn't, wasn't going to be taken care of yeah a little bit um we would all do that right we'd all get but but then it was taken care of, and my worry went away. And um, that is good. I mean, I guess we get to see the other side of when bad things happen. Shipping is usually the extent of what bad can happen. This happens to be not so hot of a guitar. But let's plug this thing in. I'm going to um, let's plug this in and turn on the amp. And this, the jacks right here, does work. It is active. I put a battery in it. The amp is right here. 
Let's turn this on. I'm going to throw in a backing track here real quick. And um, we'll play this thing. And it's just going to be room sound. I'm not going to go too deep into it, because, but we'll get, at least you guys know what we want to hear. You guys want to hear the guitar, no matter what it looks like or the, the fit and the finish. Let's hear what it sounds like. What would this guitar have been like if the quality of the paint job and the slimness of the neck were up to par? Because that's what I'm realizing now is, wow, it would have been a fantastic guitar if it wasn't for the fit and finish. I mean... And it still could be there. I mean, I could sand this down. We could shave the neck. We could repaint it. I could do the redo the graphic. I could do all that myself. But at a five hundred dollar price tag, do you want to do that? And that's right. And this is what all these pickups and stuff were ordered for originally. These EMGs. Now we have three hundred over three hundred dollars in in pickups and wiring that we're gonna go in this that are not. And you guys know we're probably gonna be having a giveaway for that stuff very soon because they're definitely not going in this guitar unless you guys would like to see that I mean, would you rather would you rather me do a giveaway or one person gets lucky and wins that or would you rather all see the components this guitar get redone and those components go in it um maybe i could do something with this it's going to cost a little bit but maybe we could do something with this guitar and put it um, into the specifications that it should be you let me know let's play this thing we'll end it with the play i'm not going to come back with any final thoughts i'm going to let you guys decide tell me what you think and uh, what are your thoughts um are, are you still impressed with kathy are you still um inspired to use her for your custom builds even though now keep in mind she's very honest just, just, she wasn't there to see this the one she's there for everyone that i've got that she's there for have been first rate like my favorite guitar i've ever had in here is the greenie um my custom greenie it's the best guitar that i've ever had and it still is it continues to be um i do have more custom guitars being built from her they're in the works right now so let's keep our fingers crossed that those guitars come out spectacular because one is my absolute bucket list dream, dream guitar. And let's hope that that guitar comes out spectacular. All right, I've rambled enough. Let's get over there. Let's play over here. Right here where we are. We'll plug this in. We'll turn on the back and track right here. And we'll play this thing. Let me know what you guys think. And uh, guys, sorry I've been out of it for a while. Little under the weather, plus a lot going on. To the bald shredder, I apologize. Just wasn't feeling good. You guys would not have enjoyed that interview whatsoever, believe me, because um, I was ornery, I was grumpy, and uh, very tired. I spent the day in bed. So, All right, guys, let's do it. Thanks for watching Fulton Street Beats, and please make sure to hit that like button, share, subscribe, and remember, it's rock and roll that makes the world do that spinny thing. Thanks, guys. Bye.